My name is Yusri Bagari. I'll be fighting 86 kilograms. A fight out of Jim Royale and Teixeira MMA. This year commenced really well, uh, fighting at LFL. I fought um, a catch weight and I won first round KO. He's also. Alex called me for his light heavyweight debut against Jan Blahovic and asked me to join him in a fight camp, spar and prepare and uh, be there at the fight. This is of course a great opportunity for me to learn, to become a better fighter, but also to experience uh, and to help a brother of mine. I got a call to, be, to participate in the Dana White Contender Series. So we stretched that, that camp and stayed a month longer in the U.S. because the fight was going to be in Las Vegas. Experienced a lot of growth uh, as a fighter, uh, but then uh, the story you all know is I contracted a, a bad bacteria. So the Dana White Contender Series, of course, is seen as a, as a one-time, lifetime opportunity. And that's the reason I, I decided to still fight, because we tried to postpone it. But they said that's not possible because the program is fixed, but we decided to wait, you know, maybe I felt a little bit better and just take the fight and yeah, it was a, an all or nothing situation. I just want to try and, you know, knock him out or, or, you know, let's see where my conditioning is. But the man with the hammer came, you know, in the second round already and I never felt so, so tired, but I never gave up. So I really tried, tried and win the fight. You know, everybody messaged me right after like, what, what was happening? You know, that wasn't you. And uh, I had to explain to the people that believe in me, like what was happening, you know, and um, Right after, the, the people in charge of the UFC, they were uh, having contact with my manager and they were like, this is not over, man, you know, go get your wins and we'll sort it. So that's, that's what I hold on to and that's why I keep taking this challenge and keep working on myself, getting better, trying to get, you know, to my highest potential. So I'm not done yet. I'm starting to feel much better. My condition is coming up, my strength is coming up. So I can't wait to get in there and, and, and you know, prove the people, also prove myself what I can do. I think in this sport, the beautiful thing is that like everybody it like respects the fighter, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from, doesn't matter what your name is, uh, background, whatever, you know, they just, um, they just respect that you go in there and if you make it to a level like that, you know, people just want to see you work and, you know, whether some people want to see you win or lose, it doesn't matter, they tune in because, you know, everybody loves this sport. <laughs> So I'm fighting Georgi Kvelice, he's coming from Georgia. Um, from what I saw in his videos, he's a really strong guy, he's, he's got his muscles and um, they, they, they look like they're not just for show, you know, it looks like he got power. I don't know exactly what he's coming to bring, I mean, I don't know his game plan. I know I'm coming for the win, uh, whichever way possible. I'm going to be fast, I'm going to fight hard and I'm going for the KO. I'm always trying to stay active. Like if you know me from the start of my kickboxing career to, to the start of my MMA career, I've always wanting to fight a lot, you know, because I just love to do it. I like to have the fight planned, you know, so, so I have this little bit of nerves in my body doing whatever I need to do. I mean, you know. So my plan for the next year is to take one or two more fights. Hope to get a shot for, uh, for the big show soon enough. I'm Yusri Balgarwi. Watch me fight live, October 29, only on Viaplay.